Hey everybody, my name is Good and welcome back from the deal of NHL 22 franchise mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we started simulating the first half of the season right after doing the free agency, of course, and everything. So uh, we're doing all right right now after uh, a much disastrous beginning of the season. Once again, we started to bounce back around. I've had some ideas. I've seen some players available, possibly that we could take eventually. But right now we're going to keep it going. So we're going to keep simulating. We're going to see if everything goes right for us. We're getting some W's. So we're getting some good records right now. Uh, it seems, seems we're bouncing back up. So that's good. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Like if we're not we're frustrating too much, or if we need help, I am going to go uh, look for that help. I know who to look for. Uh, looks like uh, Giordano got injured, so we're going to have to put Oleksiak in there. And Oleksiak's not really good of a player, boys. Not a really good player. Defensive defenseman as well. I guess I'm going to put uh, Shinnington in there. Oleksiak, uh, so that's 79. 70? Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Uh, let's put Oleksiak and Larson together, I guess. Don't have much of a choice right here. And uh, I guess we're going to have uh, Vince Dunn and Fleury together once again uh, for just a while. So that's going to, we got like some wins right here. Three wins in a row. And let's see against Vancouver right here. Ryan Suter might be a good addition since we did get, well, and Valenin as well. But uh, no, I'm not going to go for that. Uh, we, we did get a loss against the Vancouver. Let's see really quick. And uh, Tuka Rask is back. Like, he, he was injured and everything. Is our defense getting injured more, more, most of all right here? So, not Shillington, but uh, Alexiak, you're getting back. Or Giordano, you're getting back from Alexiak. Uh, and uh, we're going to get that right back as it was. So, you are going there. And uh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's why. That's uh, how we wanted it. So, Toronto, we got a win against them. So a 2 to nothing win against them, boys. We are producing, as you can see. Ryan Strong, our best player right now, is producing. He's getting some points. Eberle got injured again. But we are hurt by injuries right now. That's the problem. Eberle keeps getting injured. And because of that, we keep having to put on our depth players, which isn't enough. Johansson normally would be a good player, but right now it doesn't seem like it's working out too much. I don't want to break that thing up because it seems like the first, third line is really working well. Uh, and the fourth line, not too much. So we're going to switch it up. Don Skoy is going to be on the fourth. Uh, Johansson is going to be on the fourth. And Don Skoy is going to be on the second uh, pair. I guess that's how uh, we're going to do it. That was a, a loss against the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. We still got plenty of games to play to simulate right here. Montreal, we got a win against them. Good. Uh, there's a, a loss against Columbus. Toronto, can we get a win? Yes, I know. The fire head coach. Okay, yeah. A big win. 8-4 to four win against the, the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, Eberle is back. Stop asking me for trades. Good Lord. Everybody's asking me for trades. It's annoying. All right. One last game against the New York Rangers, boys. And we end up winning it. So, now we're at 50 games uh, played. We are in the third spot. We're still in the middle of the race, though, for the, the playoffs. We are in the toughest division in there, so uh, we we got to work our uh, work it out ourselves. So let's take a look, really, because it's still a record of 7-3. Once again, so we keep having good records right here. I think we keep uh, going up. Penalty kill, what does it look like? Not be... It's had an upgrade. I think it's even downgraded, so... Not uh, any better, boys. So I guess uh, large box then. And, uh, the only option I've got right now. And uh, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving, boys. Until the 60 games. So B uh, Buffalo, we got a win. Uh, an overtime loss against Vancouver. Uh, win against uh, the Los Angeles Kings. Good, good, good. And uh, let's see. Uh, there, can we get a win against uh, St. Louis? An overtime loss. And a win against Calgary. So we're getting some points. When we lose, we're getting some points uh, now. So at least that's good. St. George's Sharks, back-to-back -back games. There's a shootout win. Good. And uh, another win, please. There's another win against the, uh, the St. George's George Sharks, boys. Really good to see. Especially since they're in the same division. We're literally racing them right now. 
Uh, Montreal, let's see really quick. Can we win a game? Doesn't matter. It's a team of the East. Now, here's a big game right here against the uh, St. Louis Sharks again. And this time around, we lose in overtime. Uh, Sharks went up uh, of us because of that. Last game, 60th uh, game against Dallas. Can we win it? Overtime win. Good. So there's an overtime win against Dallas. And that brings us back into the second spot. Big time race for the playoffs, boys. I think we're going to make it there, though. I think we should make it there. It's going to be tough. It's going to be it's going to be tough. But uh, Ryan Strom, still our best player. 54 points in 60 games played. I don't know where Malkin is. Ryan Strom is our second uh, center right now. So I really don't know what Malkin is doing. Still, uh, still pretty good. 6-1-3 for the last record. Let's find out what uh, Malkin is doing, boys. What is he doing? Not, not good at all. He's doing... 46 points in 60 games played. Not good, boys. Not a good season for him. He's having a horrible season. I I don't know because he does have a sniper playing with him. Maybe that's the problem. He needs a sniper to play with him, like a Neverle or something. That's what he needs. But Rakal's got to play there. And it's either Palat or Schwartz. Don't have any options, my guy here. Don't have any options. Unless I switch it up completely off the bats. And I actually give him a, a good player, but... Alright, I decided to switch it up. We're going to try and put it like that, I guess. We're going to try and put Eberle with Malkin and Schwartz. Maybe they're going to be helped out because of that. We'll see if that helps out the second... The, third, the second line might be hurt big time, though. Because they're only going to have playmakers in there. But uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. I'm kind of uh, scared to do that, but... We'll, we'll try our luck, I guess. We'll try our luck. That's all I can say about that. Now, we do want to make a trade. So, maybe it's the time. Actually, let's put Rackle back in there first. All right? Just to see. We do want to make a trade. And I know I have a potential trade available to me. Uh, Schwartz. We're at the trade deadline, boy. So, it's time to do the trades. Let's take a look really quick. I want to trade Schwartz. And we got plenty of minor players that are in the 80s. High 80s. We can trade those guys as well. So, we got the rights to three trades. That's why I didn't want to do any uh, random trades or anything before that. Uh, we want to do our three trades, right? So, first one I want to do is I want to go for somebody uh, that's not going to be in the 90s. Unless I can go for somebody in the, in the 90s, but I don't think I can. A Svechnikov can play. He's a sniper. Svechnikov would be a good option. Uh, kind of uh, available, kind of. Uh, he's, we would have to give up draft picks though for him pretty much, but, uh, he is a really good player, sniper, and he's a, he can play on the left wing. So that's an available option right there, boys. Uh, the Brink Cat as well now is too high up, too high up. Otherwise it would be an Ovechkin, Ovechkin too high up as well in terms of value, boys. So we can't go for that, but we can go for a Svechnikov, Svechnikov. We got an option right there. Pedersen as well. He's available, but he's a two-way forward. So we don't want that, boys. But here's what I was thinking. Kind of the same value as uh, Zvezhnikov almost, but a little bit lower. So we we got to give up a little bit less. Still an elite player. Power forward, Matthew Kachak. I think is what I want to go for. So let's go for that, boys. He's an 89. Space going to be in the same rank as... Uh, as are Schwartz, but Schwartz is a two-way, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have Tanev. So, Tanev, we want to get rid of him, right? We want to get rid of that guy because he's a 81 overall playing in the minors. So, what we want is we want to give them some players. We got some prospects in there now. Now we have prospects. Look at Mashizny, by the way. He was like, what, 64 or something? Or 65? Not sure, but he's now a 74 overall. So he's growing. He might be ready for the NHL next year. Almost, uh, at least. Uh, Chuborov is available, but we're going to let him grow. My depth, my low elites, I want to let him grow. I don't have any players, per se. But uh, we do have some draft picks. We can give them. Let's try and give them a second round. A second round for Tanev. In exchange, I obviously want a, a left winger back because we're going to miss one. So we need a left winger. But son, anybody that's like 
doesn't have any value whatsoever. Uh, uh, Milan Lucic, maybe. He's a power forward and he would be really great. So add him to the mix. So Kachak and Lucic for Schwartz, Tanev in the second round pick. Let's see if it's going to go through, boys. Not quite. But I know I can get that through. I know I can do it. So let's give them a second and a third. Second and a third, Tanev and Schwartz. Rejected. It's going to do... I'm not giving up uh, first rounds, boys. I'm not going to uh, give up a first round. So two seconds. That's as ma uh, high up as I go. All right. So we need something. Uh, we, we're not going to be able to get Kachak then. That's not going to happen, boys. So we got to look for something else. Somebody else. But I do want to get rid of Schwartz. Because he's just hurting me overall. He's not really helping me out. So we need a sniper or a left winger. So let me check it out. Let's try our luck with Tolvanen, boys. So Tolvanen is going to be uh, the one that we're going to try to go for. Uh, we got Schwartz, obviously Tanev again. So once again, boys, we're going to try our luck with that. Uh, let's see if they're going to give us anything. Do What is that guy? Is he a, a 2 way 4 garbage? Do we want uh, anybody else? Do we have anybody? That, there we go. This guy. Like this random guy right here. But he's got some, uh, he's got some value, though. That's what scares me a little bit. He's got some value, but uh, we'll, we'll see if uh, if it matters or not. All right, so let's see if that's going to go through. Schwartz, Tanev in a second for this guy and uh, Tolvanen. Let's see if it's going to go through. Tolvanen, low elite, uh, medium elite boys, so he's, he can still grow. He's got plenty of time to grow. He can be a, a 90 overall. And Sniper uh, as well. So what we're looking for, exactly what we're looking for. All right. Let's try and give them a second round pick again. And rejected. Se two seconds and a third. Let's see, boys. Rejected. Okay. And three seconds. I'm not giving up a first. Not giving up a first. Three second round picks. Not happening. All right. They want a first. All right. This guy, Olsen. Left wing. Top six. Exact top six. But sniper. Tell me he's an available option. Surely you are on a you're gonna want uh like a Schwartz for him. Surely. Like, come on. So straight up. I think straight up we should try. There we go. Straight up trade. Easy. So that's just a straight up trade. So it's just a replacement. You replace one guy for the other. Uh you basically replace uh a two-way forward for a sniper. That's the only thing I did. Literally all all I did, boys. So there it is. We got ourselves Olofsson, a sniper in the team. Uh, he's going to be able to help them out. So that's going to be great for us. So that's uh, just fine. We could also do that. Which brings us a sniper, playmaker. Two playmakers and a sniper. And two playmakers and a sniper right there. But it's basically the same. It's the same right here. And I, f I prefer Rackle being on the first line. So we're going to keep it like that. Let's see if Malkin... And Rackle are going to have a better time with uh, a sniper on their lineup though, uh, now. Uh, let's see. Uh, extras. We need to replace it. So let's just replace it with uh, our new player. So all of a sudden you're going in there. All right. So we got still two more trades we can do. Do we need to modify our defense? Probably. But is there any defenseman that's available? I don't know, boys. Goaltenders, I'm more than happy with it. The goaltenders I have, I, I'm happy with what I got. So I want to change that. Maybe modify something. We modified the left wing already. Let's see if we want to like get a, a good player but a right wing position, boys. So we got this guy. We got Dustin Brown. Uh, he's available, boys. Exact top six. Yes, he's 38 years of age. So he's probably going to retire soon. But maybe a nice little veteran for us. He's a power forward. So playing on the fourth line would help out probably. He's a player that we would need. And much better than a don't score. It was a two way forward. Don't score doesn't have any, de uh, any like value whatsoever. So that's why it's kind of frustrating. So that's why I mean I need to give up more. Uh, I need I want to give up. Like I can give up some players, no problem. So Chuparov, I kind of want to keep him, but we can give up these two players, Menasso and Nelson. We can give them up in exchange for Brown. And let's see if we're going to get uh, Connor Brown. Not even enough. They want. They don't even want these players. So we are going to give up, I guess, a, a third as well. Let me uh, give you a third. There you go. 
So two first um, two prospects that I uh, drafted, Donskoy, a, a two-way forward, and a third round pick for Connor Brown. Might be overpaid, but I needed that player, boys. He, and he is an upgrade to Donskoy as well. Donskoy was in the 84s. Brown is in the 85, so he's in the upper echelon, which uh, is even better. So let's bring it up right here. We're going to see. Where is he going to play, boys? He's going to play on the second line, I guess. Uh, either on the second line or the first line. Uh, we're going to see. I think we should play on the first line. We should play him on the first line, uh, maybe. 87, 89. Actually, Rackle is better. He's a better player. But Dustin Brown, he's a power forward. So, you know, power forward, sniper, playmaker combination could be very good. But that's all playmakers no no uh, we need to put him there there we go we're gonna put him in the second line boys and uh, there it is so that's ornquist and eberle i guess yeah we're gonna keep it like that so ornquist getting dropped to the four, uh, to fourth line boys even though he was having a good season got a drop to the fourth line all right so that's that we upgrade our left wing and right wing positions the i think we want to look for a defenseman possible defenseman boys now any defenseman that uh, has some value for me that I want to trade, like an Alexiak, for example, because Susie can br I can bring him up. So I could trade on Alexiak. Alexiak's got some value. He's playing as our depth uh, defenseman right now. So we can definitely get some value, uh, nice value out of him. So let's, uh, let's find out if there's any defenseman that we can trade for. I found my guy, boys. Brent Burns, 37 years of age, obviously big time veteran, 86 overall. Uh, not that high up of an overall, but he's an offensive defenseman. He's going to be able to help us out tremendously. So trading away uh, Alexiak for Brent Burns, and we're going to be able to get something in return this time around. So get Alexiak, uh, get rid of him. And in exchange, I do, uh, I, I, I want, I need, I'm going to need a defenseman because Susie is going to be my depth. What I want to do is get a defenseman that uh, is going to be playing in the minors instead. So we can get a good player right here. Uh, a Victor Mede, a two-way defenseman. We could get him. Let's try and get Mede, boys, as well. So Victor Mede, Brent Burns for Alexiak. And also give me, give me something else, my guy. Give me uh, a third round pick, maybe, uh, even maybe a, a second round pick. It's possible. We can try. We can try and juice in a, a second round pick, boys, for Alexiak. So let's see if that's going to go through. Accepted. So we did it. We managed to juice it up. Alexiak for second round pick, Mede for the miners, and uh, Brent Burns, basically, which is his replacement. So that is really good, boys. So we did it. That was our three trades right here, uh, right there. So let me figure it out really quick, though. Okay, so we got Brent Burns. Let me uh, just move everybody down really quick. Brent Burns, you're already going there. Unless uh, there's a better player. So 80 for and I and 84. Yeah, so Brent Burns playing there. Perfect. And we're going to do that. Vince done with uh, Fleury. So, perfect. And is he better than uh, Latin or something? 85. Latin is uh, 86. And 83 for Giordano. So, he's better than Giordano, boys. So, we're going to play Giordano in the second pairing. And I guess Latin with uh, Burns. That's how we're going to do it. All right, good. And for the minors, I guess now, Evans, I want to keep him because my low elite. Uh, I'm going to replace Borgen and I'm going to replace him with a Mede, the brand new addition to the team. So he's going to be in there. Well, we do see Alexia Galen uh, uh, traded right away, right back, boys. So he's uh, he's out in Boston now. So he's, he's now in Boston, I guess. For Dallas, they basically traded him away uh, back again. Uh, Carpenter, I don't see anybody else, really. We do have Ryan Suter. Ryan Suter going to Vegas, boys. In exchange for, I guess, a couple of players, nothing crazy. Vatanen is going to Dallas. Oh, no, he's going to Winnipeg. So Dallas is uh, on loading. And uh, we've got nothing else. I don't really see any big trades. No big trades so whatsoever. 
Uh, I'm the one who made the biggest trades, really, with Brent Burns and everything. So I'm the one who made the biggest moves, boys, it looks like. All right, let's keep it moving then. If there's nothing that really happened, we did end up having a loss against Chicago. Can we get a win? Shootout loss against uh, the Oilers. That's going to be a shootout win against uh, Vegas. Good. Uh, can we get a, a win? There we go. There's a win against uh, the Calgary Flames. I want to see that as, mo uh, as much as possible. Uh, Chicago Blackhawks. There's a win. Dallas Stars. There's another win. There are two or three wins in a row, boys. Continue to see that. Uh, Minnesota, a fourth win. There we go. There's our fourth win in a row right here. And up against Vegas, fifth win in a row. Edmonton Oilers, sixth win in a row. There we go. Let's keep it moving. The Anaheim Ducks, seven wins in a row. There we go. And we're up to 70 games played, boys. So seven wins in a row. Put us a record for the last 10 games of 8-1-1. One, and one. Really good. Really good. Our best player is still Ryan Strom, though, which is bothering me because he's actually our third center. He's not even our second center. He's our third center. He's playing on the third line. He's our best player. It's kind of bothersome. It's a good season for him. But what about the other two centers right here? What the hell is Malkin doing? You know, he's he's got 58 points, so he's moving back up, I guess. Um, Allison, what did he do ever since he was with us? Five points in 10 games played. Not really anything crazy. And uh, Lar uh, Rackle either. So we'll see. And what about Dustin Brown for the 10 games? 10 points in 10 games played. Dustin Brown is producing, boys. He's producing. He's doing great. So he's definitely doing great with uh, Winberg and, uh, and, and Andre Palat. That's for sure. Yard Croc is not going to have a 30 uh, goal season this time around. But that's only because he's playing on the third line, you know, so it's normal for him to struggle a little bit. And that's pretty much it for the next part. Uh, Lata and Burns. Burns, what did he do for us? Nine points in 10 games played. Wow. All right. Brent Burns is a great addition to our team, boys. Love to see that. And uh, Tuka Rass still playing great and good season for uh, Drieger as well. Well, there we go, boys. So we're having a... A really fun time, uh, I should say. Really fun time. I don't want to change anything. It seems like everything's working out. Unless, let me lay, uh, take a look really quick at our penalty kill. It's the only thing I got to look at. Going up. It's going up, boys. So we figured it out for the penalty kill. So that's uh, good. So let's keep advancing. We're going to finish the season off. So a win against uh, Los Angeles Kings. There's another win against Colorado. I don't even know how many wins we are at, though. So that's a big time, um, big time streak we got going on. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wins in a row. We're at ten wins in a row, boys. That's a that's a really big one. And there's an eleventh one. So eleven. Let's see really quick, boys. Twelve wins in a row. Okay, and we finally got our streak was all ended by Nashville, uh, the Nashville Predators. So we, we went all the way to twelve wins in a row. Wow, that's crazy. Malkin's going back up. There we go. There it is. You can see now he's producing. He has somebody. He needs a sniper to play with him. Uh, there we go. So we're much better. We're already in the playoffs. Uh, normal. We're having a much better season now than we had previous time around. We're having a fantastic season. And uh, we might be on contention, boys, for the uh, the President's Trophy as well. Let's keep winning. Let's keep winning. Uh, if we can get our hands on the President's Trophy, that would be great. All right, let's keep it moving, boys. So there's a win, a loss in overtime against uh, Winnipeg. Let's get as many points as possible. There's a win against Colorado. Another win against Los Angeles. Can we get another win right here? Uh, ben Hutton got injured in the minors. That's the defenseman. We're going to replace him with one of our other, uh, other defensemen and stuff. So, Borgen, you're going back in there. And uh, I guess Connor Carrick, 77. And you have 71. Yeah, so you are going to switch back. Let me just make sure right quick that it's like that. Yeah, perfect. There we go. That's going to be a shootout loss against uh, Calgary. Uh, Vegas is going to be a regular loss, regulation loss. Okay. Well, uh, we got 110 points 
We are by far dominating the league, and I think we did it, boys. We got the President's Trophy, yeah. We are the best team of the entire league this year. At only our second year, remember, as GM, we already have the President's Trophy on our hand. So, uh, tell me I'm not a good GM, right? Unless, I mean, I'm struggling with making my pro uh, players like Malkin produce, but, I mean, they're coming back up, I guess. So, uh, that's done. We have one last game remaining. One last game, and I want to hop on in for this one, boys. I want to hop on in to the game and look at our players in real time. So, let's, let's do that. Let's go take a look at them. We're going to do a uh, quick time simulation. Phil Kessel is going to get a goal. First period right there. We got a goal by Malkin. First period. It's two goals each. So Malkin got two goals. There it is. Malkin's going up, boys. Power play goal and a regular goal. Hamannick. So second period. Another goal. But uh, Latin scored. But second goal by Kessel. We're going to go up until the five minute marker. And then we're going to up on into the game, boys. And see if we can't uh, have a... A lucky goal in for ourselves. Power play for us. We couldn't score, unfortunately. I think we got to go in. Right here. There is about five minutes. Uh, less than five minutes left. Let's go in, boys. And enjoy the show. Here we go, boys. I'm playing as the coach, obviously. So I'm coaching my team. Let's see how it's going to go. So, guys, uh, go full on. Full four check. Let's try and get a goal right here. Let's, get a, uh, let's try and get a win. You know, tie it up. Maybe... And try and get a win as much as possible. So uh, we got that going on for us. Uh, keep it going, boys. You're doing great. You're doing great. Go, 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 go. Connor Brown, boys. Go to... Oh, my God. Almost a goal right there. Winberg, shoot it. There it is. And Demko is going to make the stop. Let's put the first line in there. I want to see the first line in action. There we go. I need the best line right now. Allison, Malkin, and Rackle. Let's see how they, uh, they go, boys. Up to Letan. It's going to shoot it. It's going to be blocked in front. Malkin. Up to Rackle. Up to Letan. Oh, he missed the puck a little bit. All right, there's Malkin, boys. Up to Rackle. Malkin, shoot it. Olsen's going to shoot it instead. All right. I wanted Malkin to shoot that in the slot. He was wide open. There we go. There it is. Rackle. Forgotten right in the slot. Managed to get a rebound shot or like a, a lucky... Uh, a lucky rebound or something and he got his 20th goal of the season congrats to record raquel boys it's gonna tie it up for our team uh you guys did great you guys did great let's keep it going let's keep the first line in there they just scored a goal for me i want to keep him there and uh, keep them producing let's go boys you got this doing fantastic right now block peterson right away there we go don't let him in We've got some great defensemen. Brent Burns, Veteran C, and uh, Latan right here. And Giordano, another veteran in the uh, second pair, boys. We've got lots of veterans. Malkin, up to Olofsson, up to Raquel. 5 all. Look at him go, boys. Ricard Raquel, second goal of the night, straight up, back to back. Goes 5 all after that. The tap, the tap to tape to tape, boys. Special ability. Boom. What a goal right there. Went 5-0. I'm keeping the first line. These guys are popping off. Maybe Rackel, uh, Ra Raquel can get himself a, a hat trick or something. Let's try and get it for him, boys. If they uh, get rid of the goaltender or something. Maybe they won't even need uh, the goaltender to get out of there. Good lord. All right, block it. Block it. There we go. Get rid of, uh, of Besser right here. Keep the first line in there. There we go. Keep the first line. There we go. And shoot it. Oh, Rackle missed it. All right, shoot it, Olofsson. Get the goal. There I guess. So I'm, I told Olofsson to shoot it, of course. I told uh, Rackle to uh, shoot it first because I wanted him to get a, his hat trick. But I guess Olofsson's going to have to bring that back home. So it's going to be my second pair right now. Uh, uh, Connor Brown. I, I think, uh, yeah, it's Connor Brown and... Uh, uh, the other one, the two other ones, I forget all uh, always. It's Wenberg, uh, Connor Brown, and uh, and Palat on the second line. But that's gonna be it, boys. We watched the five last minute and look at how it went. We ended up winning. We were losing four to three. We ended up winning six to four. We scored three goals unanswered back to back. That's what I'm talking about. That's a team right there, boys. Team effort right there. 
four points easy night for Malkin. It's gonna help him out with balancing and stats for the season at least since the uh, the rough beginning of it. So uh, is that everybody? Not everybody uh, played. So we're gonna make sure that everybody played. Still not everybody played right here. A uh, Victor Mede got injured in the minors. Gonna have to replace him with uh, another player, I guess. With Ben Hutton. Hutton is back anyways, okay. So Hutton was back. Yeah, uh, we're gonna keep it in there. Perfect. And let's see. Uh, Hutton is back, yep. And is did any everybody uh, play? Everybody played, so the team is over. We have the President's Trophy, so we're officially the best team of the entire league. 30 goal season for Malkin, so still pretty decent season. Overall, he managed to bring himself back into shape with Allison playing with him. Uh, let's take a look at uh, power player stats first. Our best scores this year was uh, we uh, last year we had three 30 goal scorers. Uh, that tells you how much we struggle for the players' uh, stats this year. Uh, only one of them is a 30 goal scorer, it's Malkin. And Malkin, the best player with 74 points. Uh, 69 points, nice. I think he did he, f he did 48. So he had a better season with us. So he's uh, a better season overall. Ricardo Raquel, 65 points. Kind of struggled at the beginning, but uh, ended up having, well... 69 points last season though. So better season last year. So it's a, it's a worse season than last year. Young Croc, 63 points. Uh, not as good as last year, but he was playing on the third line instead of the second line, boys. Uh, Latin, great season for him. 63 points. Palat, Olofsson, you know. And what did Olofsson do with us? 18 points in 22 games played, boys, ever since he came with us. Wenberg and Connor Brown, what did he do for us? 19 points in 20 good games. He played better than Olsen. He was on the second line. There it is, boys. So all the other players and everything. Uh, Brent Burns, I'm not too sure what he did for us. 11 points, so he dropped back down big time. He had 10 points in 10 games played, remember? And now it's 22 games played. So 11, he only uh, did another point. Unfortunate, but he's still uh, producing a little bit. Uh, Aiden Flurry. Uh, did have a better season overall than last year, so that's good to see. And uh, goalie, wi uh, goalie wise, not as good of a season I think than last year. Last year was a little bit better, but it's still a pretty good season. 39 wins, he got more wins than last year, so that's good for him. And uh, another good season for Drieger as a backup. Let's take a look at the entire league, boys. Entire league, uh, goal wise. It's a much tougher season for everybody, it looks like, for the goals and points, I guess. Uh, Ovechkin, best score of the league, once again. 53 goals, boys. 50 goals for Patrick Kane as well. And uh, for the points, Patrick Kane ended up, once again, the best player of the league. Bergeron does have 102 points. So there it is for him. Good for him. Huberdeau, Pasternak, Rentanen, Barkov, McDavid, once again. Uh, dry sidle and Ovechkin all the way in there. Let's take a look. Ovechkin, where's he at? 835 goals. 894 is the record by Gretzky, boys. One or two more seasons, uh, Ovechkin. You got a contract of five years. Get it done, my guy. Get it done. Another season of 50 uh, goals is going to give him like uh, 100, 180 or something. He's going to be right there. So he needs like two seasons. Another two seasons, and he's going to be able to pass Gretzky. Gretzky's record for the goals. So uh, keep it going, my guy. Keep, stay in there. Stay in shape. You got this. Making it um, uh, and all these guys, I guess. That's pretty much it. Defenseman-wise, best defenseman this year was Quinn and Hughes. 83 points in 82 games played. Really good season for him. Shabbat, Carlson, Jones, Krug, Riley, Pedriangelo. Le Temps, so our defenseman was one of the best. And Keith Yendel. There it is, boys. What is Eric Carlson's overall stats in this career? 752, okay. All right, so let's take a look at goalies. Goalies, Spencer Knight, boys. Big-time goaltender for the Florida Fen uh, Panthers. Uh, Big-time prospect. And he's not a prospect anymore. He's a real elite player. 
one of the best. And he's 41 wins, tied up with Thatcher Demko. And uh, we've got uh, Laner right here, 40 wins. So I think the is definitely going to go for Spencer Knight. That's for sure. Uh, Tuka Rask with a four, uh, fourth goaltender with the most wins. Where is Price? I don't even see Price anymore. Price is completely absent. He's not there anymore. 32 wins. And where, what did he get last time? Last year he got 33. I guess it's decent enough. He's doing all right for save percentage. I just, I guess uh, he's dropping. Look at that. He's a starter though, 87. So he's dropping big time. It's going to be the Calgary Flames this year. So we're going to have to phase them off. They're a dangerous team. We'll see what they look like on paper uh, in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Keep it easy.